coming off the top of the cage. It is the top of the cage video format. Although we are a podcast, we are taking our hand into the art of video. And we welcome you all to our first adventure into it. Welcome. And uh, I'm excited to do some video. We're also going to have a lot of our interviews will be on video as well as audio from now on. We're going to do content like this too that's exclusive to YouTube. It's going to be a good time. Video is fun and we're both gorgeous. So I think the world deserves to see us. My, uh, my mom told me one time I had the face for radio, but I'm proving her wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. That's my, mom would never, my mom would never say that to me. <laughs> what to say? <laughs> so, Juice, why don't we introduce the people to what we're doing tonight? Yes, yeah, so we're doing a little, like, Royal Rumble Crater. Uh, we're going to take turns per pick, and we're going to do it. It's going to be the entry level. The So we'll start with one. Whoever gets to one pick, that's number one entrance. And then the other person does the second entrant and so on until you get to 30. And then after the 30 are selected, each of us will say who our final four are and who the winner is. It is not just current WWE people. Our Royal Rumble creator can include AW, New Japan. It can involve people from any era of wrestling. When I say any, I mean any. So there's some, there's going to be some names, especially in mine. I got some wild ones in mind i'm sure billy does too and we might say a quick blurb about um, why we select that person or a little about the person if it's not someone that's like as known but uh we'll, we'll try to keep it quick move along so we can just move right into the men's and um just now you wait and i got the first pick i'm going i am going mankind All right, all right. My number two, because I would like to see this man at number two again, is Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio. Okay, okay, that's a good one. For three, I'm going with someone that could go all the way, someone that's got plenty of history with mankind. It's Undertaker. A guy that's been at the end of Rumbles to appear, but has appeared very early in plenty of them, too. So I actually had Undertaker a lot later, just because, again, we were talking about somebody who can be at the end. And, and I, I, I typically am a fan of big guys being at the end of Rumbles, but I don't think it's bad to have him there. I am going to be picking Eddie Guerrero. See, I, I have him very later because you know he's my favorite all-time wrestler. I want to know when. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I figured actually – he would probably be a pretty good long Iron Man sort of wrestler, you know? <laughs> good. We can stay friends. I think at five here, I'm going someone that really way before the WWE era, way um, a person that was in the circus era, someone that is credited as the first like heavyweight champion, really one of the first like fame, probably the first famous wrestler. And it's Frank Gotch. Uh, Someone that, like I said, wrestling like the circus scene, wrestling in the early 1900s. <laughs> I think that'd be an interesting little pop, a little historical reference, and a little, a little fun little moment. Uh, at number six, I have Tommaso Ciampa, who I think that'd be a pretty interesting little interaction there. <laughs> Ciampa and Gotch. <laughs> It'd be stiff, I bet. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going, I'm going across the pond. I'm going in, in my, I'll just do a little spoiler here. In my Rumble um, match, I, I tried to include legends from other countries and other like promotions. And I'm going to tap that well right now. And I'm going Jushin Thunder Liger. I think that would be a great one. A person I would add really fun spots. And I think him and Ray, if Ray's still in the match at this point, that'd be fun little interaction too. We'll, Flippy flips. I could definitely see that being really fun. I kept mine pretty, uh, you know, I kept mine pretty United States based. I have a, do have a few international superstars, but a lot of mine is pretty United States based wrestling. Uh, at number eight, I have Samoa Joe. Love it. I mean, I I think that would be a big guy to put in like 
25 to 30 range for me. I have I have him kind of kicking ass in the beginning and then getting eliminated by like 15, 16. I know we're not picking eliminations, but I don't see him lasting throughout the whole match, considering some of the other names we're going to be having in this. Yeah. Put another international star, a guy who put Lucha Libre on the map, a guy before wrestling, he was like a famous actor in Mexico, uh, Mil Mascarez. He's actually in the WWE Hall of Fame, even though he never performed in WWE match. Because just not true, impact. not true. He eliminated himself from the Royal Rumble. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel that. I believe that it was there. the 1997 Royal Rumble. I watched it the other day, that's the only reason why I remembered it. Okay, well, I don't think he had an actual match, though, right? Like the singles, right? I'm not sure. I, I know there was that Royal Rumble, there was three or four triple A wrestlers that were in there as like a cross promotion with WWE. Okay, I actually didn't know that. Um, I'm still sticking with him, though. <laughs> still in the match. <laughs> My number 10, I am going with an Impact star. I am going Moose. Moose. Okay. I like that. I like that. I think you're, you're going a lot of modern guys. I got a lot of oldies on mine. I think I am going... I'm going to HPK. I'm going to Shawn Michaels early on. I think Undertaker is still in the match at this point, and I think they definitely have to run in. That's just a famous Royal Rumble interaction. You definitely have to have it in. So I'm, I'm doing HPK here. My number 12, I am going Brian Danielson. Because who wouldn't want to see Brian Danielson coming out right after HPK? Okay, and you'd have him as Brian Danielson, not Daniel Bryan. Yes, he would be his current incarnation of his character, Brian Danielson. AEW Brian Danielson. Okay, so I'm going to do one a little earlier than I was planning, but it's an AEW person, and I'm going Kenny Omega here. It's funny, I had Omega and HBK later in my Rumble, and they were right after each other. <laughs> so my number... 14 position i am going to be going john cena dun, 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 dun. and he would be super cena no spoilers but i would have it be the super cena inclination of john cena okay so here i'm going uh, a veteran that's still at it um aw i'm tapping in that aw well right now <laughs> i'm gonna be a little run a little invasion. I'm going Penta. Zero. Miedo. That would be really fun. I would like to see that. So my number 16. Jeez, this is somebody that I think you'll be excited I picked. I'm going Mellow Don't Miss Carmelo Hayes. Oh, he's going to be in a match with quite, quite the company. It's going to be tough, but I like that. I think this is a good spot for him. So I'm going modern person, the person known for um, the rumble spots. I'm going Kofi Kingston here. I had Kofi as my number one. Okay. Why didn't you uh, tap into the well earlier? Because, I don't know, I feel like how we started to establish the rumble right off the bat, you know, I was like, eh, you know, maybe I won't say him, but... I like that you at least included him. And for my number 18, I'm going with a comedy pick. I am going Santino Moeda. And I would have him try and break his record. Hopefully somebody like Moose or Samoa Joe are still in this match. And uh, they just clean his clock. Okay. I mean, how can you even break the record? <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day because I saw the clip again. I was like, I legit don't think somebody can get over the rope and onto the ground faster than he did. Yeah. 1.9 seconds. That's crazy. Jeez. So I'm going um I'm going across the pond here, but a person that is very famous in uh, WWF. I'm going British Bulldog here. I actually really like that. That's a really good pick. He's somebody who is a former runner-up, a almost winner of the Royal Rumble until Shawn Michaels did Shawn Michaels things. 
So for my number 20, I think it's criminal personally that this man did not get included any earlier because I think he could have easily been a a number one through like 12-ish kind of person. And that is AJ Styles. And I would have it be the AJ Styles of his first WWE championship. So I'm going tapping uh, New Japan again. And I am going Tiger Mask here. Uh, another high spot, a fun little entrant, add a little quick in the pace of the match again. I think him and that AJ would be a fun interaction too. Oh, just wait till you hear my next one. I am going Will Osprey. Oof, that's a good one too. A little New Japan, but also a little and British, British flavor in the match. I like that. He, he, he's he's such a good heel too. That'd be a, a fun little appearance. All right, um, I'm going back to uh, Mexico Old Legends. I'm going El Santo. All right. We are at number 24, correct? Yeah. I am going with, boom, Adam Cole, baby. And I would do AW Adam Cole. Ah, You know what? I think I'm going to do NXT champion, leader of Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, actually. Okay. Like that. I am going... This is tough, because I only got one, two, three left. I know. There are so many names that are on my list still that I'm like, shit, how am I going to fit them in? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, This is tough. So there was a a lot of mine, I have people that never been in the room. I want to add them, but then there's modern people I want to add, including I think I'm going to go with one of the people I want to add. Actually, no, you you might add uh, maybe I'll wait on this one and I'll go with one of the people who've never been in it before. And this one's surprising, but I don't know how true the article is, but uh, I think it is because I don't, I, I've watched a bunch, I've watched almost all the Rumbles and he's never actually been in it, surprisingly. It's Scott Hall. So next, I'm you and I were talking about how it can be like anybody, any wrestler. It can be a celebrity. It can be an athlete. It can be anybody. And I'm picking somebody at 26 that I think would be extremely surprised and get an amazing pop out of the crowd. The notorious Connor McGregor. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun one. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good celebrity one. I actually decided not to put celebrity in, even though I thought about it. Uh, I'm putting another person that um, this one actually hasn't been in the Rumble, but is a big name. It's Ricky Steamboat. Really? Has never been in a Rumble? No. Interesting. Did not know that. At the 28 position, I, I wanted to put this person at the 27 position just to piss people off. But I am going AEW VP Cody. Okay. <laughs> uh, it does piss me off. <laughs> okay. I'm going to 29 and I'm going with I'm going with a legend here. Um, I'm going Bruno San Martino. All right. Well, at number 30, I actually changed it. So originally I had Miro written, but then I was thinking, you know, the vibe of our Royal Rumble is a good mix between old and new. So Miro is getting mixed at my number 30 and you're going to hear three, two, one. It's time. It's time. It's Vader time. And we are getting in his prime Vader. That's funny. Guess who my 30 was, Vader? <laughs> I like that. Uh, there's some people I was surprised. Um, one person I said before we made this, I'm like, I got to make sure Rick Flair gets the match. Rick Flair and Steve Austin definitely have to match. Neither of them are in the match. Yeah, I just want to run down the people that I didn't say that I really wanted to be in. Uh, Randy Orton. Kane. Mox. Seth Rollins. Matt Riddle, Roman Reigns, and Walter, and Batista. Those were the ones that I had written down that we didn't say. 
Yeah. When I said I, there's a modern person I wanted to make sure it was in the match, Walter was that. I wanted Riddle in the match. I wanted uh, Brett and Owen Hart in the match. Uh, Michinoku, I wanted the match. I wanted Chris Jericho in the match. I wanted Booker T in the match. <laughs> uh, Steve and uh, I wanted The Rock. There's a lot of people, but um, I, I do like, I do like, uh, I think I was just unique and um, good. So let's, I'll run through it and then we'll do final four and winner. Uh, Mankind at one. Rey Mysterio at two, three Undertaker, four Eddie Guerrero, five Frank Gotch, six Ciampa, seven Jushin Thunder Liger, eight Samoa Joe, nine No Mascaras, ten Moose, uh, eleven HBK, Shawn Michaels, twelve Ryan Danielson, thirteen Kenny Omega, fourteen John Cena, fifteen Penta, sixteen Carmelo, seventeen Kofi Kingston, eighteen Santino Morella. 19, British Bulldog, 20, AJ Styles, 21, Tiger Mask, 22, Will Osprey, 23, El Santo, 24, Al Cole, 25, Scott Hall, 26, Conor McGregor, 27, Ricky Steamboat, 28, Cody Rhodes, 29, Bruno San Martino, 30, Vader. Uh, my final four, I think I'm going to go Undertaker, HPK. Bruno San Martino, and I'm a big Vader guy. I think I'll go Vader. So I think the last two are going to be in it, and then the three and 11 entrance. And my winner, my winner is Bruno. And for my final four, I, like I said, I had a lot of modern guys in mine so don't mind that mine is a little bit kind of gearing towards modern but i have aj styles brian danielson sean michaels and vader and i say the winner a j styles that's someone i really want to see one of them before he retires that's that's a good one I agree. That's that's kind of why. And I think that the caliber of talent in this match, like I think AJ is a generational talent. Our generation, Shawn Michaels, if Daniel Bryan is not already your choice for that. And yeah, I I don't see AJ stepping up. I, I think that my final two would probably be AJ and Shawn Michaels and they would just have like a 10, 15 minute barn burner. And then, you know, HBK goes for the sweet chin music. AJ ducks it. Pele kicks him. Sean falls over the rope. I don't, I don't know who my final two is. I still final four. <laughs> and I you know, big Bruno. Bruno is a good person to win. Big, you know, one of the greatest champions. Definitely a good answer. I mean, you know, like some of the guys that you have in there, like in terms of like kayfabe status, like untouchable Bruno is. So definitely a good choice. That's why I wanted him so late. Because I want him to be a guy that, you know, can just dominate and just like you hear the music, you see Bruno come out, you're like, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our Royal Rumble creator. Uh, to everybody that tuned in and sat through this all, thank you for listening. We appreciate your time. Uh, Juice, do you have anything for the people before we sign off here on this video? I think that is it. Thank you for uh, listening. Um, in the comments, can create your own little rumbles or you can use ours and pick who your final four and winner would be. That'd be good. Or both. Do whatever you want. you this is a free country. We don't dictate what you do. That is true. And you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at T O T C underscore pod. Make sure that T the O the T the C and that P are capitalized on Twitter. And as always, you can find us top of the cage on most podcasting platforms. We'd appreciate if you like, share, and subscribe to this video if you liked it. Look for more on the way. And as I usually end our podcasts, thank you for listening, tuning in, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.